Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm finally gonna be packing for my India trip. And for those of you who are following me on Instagram, you probably know that I have been attempting to pack so many times. I was supposed to go to India in January and as you know, I got sick so I couldn't go. And then I had postponed for March. Again, I had to postpone and now finally in October, I'm going to India. I've been packing and unpacking a few times. This time it's final. So yeah, I have started packing again Again, last month I would not even call it packing I have like different piles in my apartment with stuff I want to take my take a um, few gifts also for some people and yeah so I think I just show you what I have planned to take with me to India so let's start <laughs> So this is my suitcase. I should probably be cleaning it first. The reason why I've put this teeny tiny green pouch on the top is that there's something in it I have to remember. And right now I have no clue what it was that I had to remember. Let's just open it and see what's inside. <laughs> so this is funny. Um, well, it is kind of important. It's some money i think thousand rupees that actually gave me just in case i needed at the airport in delhi um you never know with covert tests or whatever i should probably not be using it but you never know and then then i packed my metro card for delhi i don't even know if i'm going by metro or anything but okay it's quite important why not use it sometimes i don't like to go by car or cab so yeah my suitcase is already quite heavy I think the allowance is only 23 kgs, so <laughs> I really have to um, repack everything. And you'll see, there's a lot of garbage in here. Not garbage, a lot of stuff. So um, let me just reorganize everything. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. quite practical but I don't know I got them I don't know if I got them cheap um, they were like on the discount I think they are around thousand rupees for all of the bags I think it's really bad quality somehow like but um let's see I hope they kind of do the job on this trip so we'll see if this zipper breaks okay then at least I've given it a try wait I put all my pants in one of these and I think I will put them on the side. You know, the suitcase is divided in two. I'm going to put them on this side. We'll see. I still need to figure out where to put all my t-shirts <laughs> because I'm out of these cubes. So maybe I have to put this in here and then I'll put all my t-shirts in here. But these are all dresses and I don't know. I'll just give it a try. I'm sure I'm going to have too much weight in the suitcase, but fingers crossed I don't. 23 kgs is not a lot if you have to travel for a full month, especially for work. Hope the zipper doesn't break. Perfect. Oh yeah, my t-shirts. I also have a lot of clothes in India, uh, which I have kept there from my last visit and then I have gotten a few um, brands to collab with me. So I know when I reach um, Delhi, I will also have some clothes there, so I should not really overpack. I feel I have so much space left. I've never packed like this before, this is the first time and this is awesome. See, that's perfect and then I still have space. What should I even put here? Makeup and I don't know. Oh, I still have those pants also, but and all that stuff and all this stuff. <laughs> okay, I'll keep those dresses here. Oh, I need a break. Okay guys, so it's the next day. I <laughs> 
got quite overwhelmed with everything I had to pack and um, how to put everything and what clothes to even bring. But uh, finally, I have packed all my clothes and as you can see, the weather is really, really bad right now. So I thought, why not finish up my packing? Um, today I will have to pack all my makeup and um, all my beauty things, <laughs> like creams and serums and what else I have to bring. And uh, I have a lot. Let's just start. So I have literally emptied my drawers and just put whatever um, I usually use. I have just put it here. And there's all sorts of stuff like face masks, um, creams, contact lenses, protein. And I also have stuff here, some medicine. And I'm also trying to figure out what to do with all this. And um, yeah, let's, let's just start. So I think what I'll do first, I'm going to put my skincare in this one. It's really, really nice. I think I got this in like some sort of like free sample cream thingy i i have no clue i can just see it's from some website some danish website i don't know how about this um but i'll put my skincare the one i use in the morning i'll put that first and then i'll put my evening skincare and yeah let's see how it goes so this is my face wash it's really 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 nice and um i don't even know what this is good for i guess i bought it because it's pink <laughs> <laughs> the issue with this is that it's glass i love that it's glass that it's not an issue but in this case it is because i have to travel with this and it's so heavy and yeah i love that they didn't use plastic but honestly for traveling it does not work so i have actually bought where the where is everything <laughs> i have bought these in germany these ones i think i got them at dm and I thought these would be good for the face wash because they have like, I think so, a pump, right? Yeah, it's a pump. And then I can even bring these in my handbag. I might have some flights also um, within India. So there might be some flights I'm going on where I cannot bring my entire suitcase. Well, I'll just bring some hand luggage. And um, for that, I thought it's better to have these small ones and then i can keep one at home and then um, bring one to wherever i'm traveling so yeah i'm just gonna fill these bottles okay so i honestly thought i could be filling two of these this is actually all the product that was left so i think the glass bottle was also fooling me a bit so this is all i'm taking of this product but then i have recently just bought my favorite face wash and this is the one this is really good for oily skin and um, I've been using this for such a long time. I have, I don't know why I have stopped. I think it was empty and then I want to try something else. Good for oily skin and it also reduces the redness on my face. I have really sensitive skin so this is really good. And then I have a third face wash. I just had it. Where did it go? Oh, <laughs> this is the one. So this is actually something I have been using for I think four years on and off. And the reason for that is that we don't get it here in Denmark. This face wash is from Turkey. First time I saw it was at the airport in Istanbul. And I don't know if you can hear it. It's a powder. So this is made out of dried rose petals. When you mix it with water and then you scrub it into your face, it also works a bit like a face scrub. I do not like face scrubs, uh, but this does not harm your skin or anything. It keeps it really, really soft. I think a lot will actually fit in this one. The next thing I use in my morning skincare routine is... <laughs> oh man, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> it's actually this one. It's so good. It keeps my skin clear. Uh, it doesn't stick. I feel that kind of like I have less blackheads and less pimples. And this is really, really nice. Okay, so the next thing I use on my skin in the morning this one i use this cream every morning this one is so so good especially if you have oily skin they also make it for dry skin and when i got chemo my skin got really dry so i use this one for dry skin it's perfect i didn't use anything else face wash and this i could i did not have energy for anything else and my skin looked amazing even though i was going through chemo after using this i apply sunscreen and this one is also for oily skin 
this is a korean brand so this will go here too when i travel a lot and when i photo shoot and all i sometimes i forget to drink i am tired and my eyes get puffy so um, i usually just use a normal eye cream i struggle deep puffing my eyes so i have recently bought this one it has caffeine in it so this is i think a gel or like like a serum but it's for your under eyes and it's supposed to deep off your eyes and i'll try this while i'm in india i'm actually not a fan of these because you use them once and then you throw everything it's a lot of plastic it's a lot of stuff to throw away i don't think it's good for the environment but this time for this trip I actually bought a few packages because sometimes, again, like I said, when I travel and I cannot carry too uh, many bottles of liquids like this one, I thought, okay, let me bring a few of these. I can put it in the fridge. I can just put it under my eyes before I go for a shoot. I'm not really happy about this. Sometimes you have to just, maybe I might even not use it, but now I have bought it. So, so these go in as well. Then I have bought these pimple patches. So now I'm thinking, what do I use on my skin in the evening? And then, so I have finally packed um, all my beauty products and creams. I um, decided to pack everything in this one. And it just fit perfectly. So this is absolutely convenient. Then these are some gifts for some friends, not mine. This also <laughs> belongs to a friend. And um, yeah, I don't know about masks. Do you even need masks in India? I know I need the masks on a flight um, to India, but I, I'm i just packing just to make sure. This is kind of, <laughs> this is wet toilet paper. I need my protein um, since I'm still trying to gain weight and muscle after my chemotherapy. So this is a clear way uh, with a mango and peach flavor. And this is again like toothbrush and I don't know what else is in there. <laughs> Contact lenses, shower gel, um, some creams, some of these for my electric toothbrush. The charger for the toothbrush is also there, all sorts of stuff. Then in this one, I have packed also different things these empty ones which i need when i travel further on um, domestic flights <laughs> the most funny thing is this one can you see what it is nutella and i'm not really into nutella so i'm bringing this to end yes now i'll just pack my makeup so this is a pouch i'll be using for my makeup i have already put some stuff lashes then i have these which are shine control paper, really good um, when working in a humid condition. And I do have very oily skin and especially if I dance, then the oil will get through my makeup. So when it comes to makeup, I do not have the foundation which I had planned to buy. Then powder, these essence ones, this is a banana powder and this is just like a normal mattifying compact powder in a different tone. And I saw these were quite popular on youtube and tiktok so i gave it a try and they're really really nice then for my eyebrows also i use this very inexpensive essence eyebrow it's kind of um like a powder as well why spend a lot of money on eyebrows and mascara this is my favorite since it works good on oily skin otherwise my eyes will go all black then <laughs> i've gone through all my eyeshadows and i came down to these four they're quite small, so they will fit in the suitcase, but I just love the colors. Two high-end eyeshadow palettes and two cheaper ones. I love these shades. I love these like pink and yellow tones. This one is more kind of neutral tones, but still a bit pink and orangey. Then I thought for more fun days, I'll actually take these. It has green and blue colors and pink, and these are so good. This is my favorite. And this one quite funny it's also from essence and this has like a bit of gold and brown and yellow pink yeah so i'm packing this lipstick it's like honestly one of my favorites i got this in a pr package i've been using it so often it's just amazing and then i mix it with this one this is the one my 
powder sponge. I would have to clean it. This is honestly my go-to blush. It's so old and you cannot even get it anymore. They don't make this one anymore. Then I use this for contouring. Then I use this one for all my brushes. There we go. All the brushes are packed. Mm, now it started raining. I think that's it. I still have a bit of clothes here. I'm not so sure if I'm gonna bring it. It's um, this pink that I have actually already used in a video, but it's really comfortable. For colder days, this would be really nice. Then I have my blue jumpsuit, my yellow <laughs> new pants. So I'll still decide um, whether I'm bringing all this clothes. And then I'm actually done with my suitcase. So I think I just have to pack my handbag and my cabin bag. And then I think I'm actually done. So... So with this one you can check the weight of your suitcase without using like a <laughs> normal uh, weight scale. So I'll just use this one and check how much weight I have in my suitcase. Because I can maximum have 23 kilos in this one this time. Like this I guess. I hope the battery still works. Should be battery in it. Oh, there you go. In spring, when I had to go to hospital um, every week, I purchased this teeny tiny suitcase. It's like a cabin bag because the one I had previously, uh, the wheels had broken. So <laughs> it was really annoying to go to hospital with that thing all the time. So I got this pink one, which is really, really cute, like baby pink, and it has my name on it. So that's pretty cool. And it comes with this cover as well. And in this one, I'll probably put some of the clothes which does not fit in my suitcase or like it does fit but the weight is quite <laughs> the suitcase is quite heavy so i'll put it here and you see it's all empty this is a handbag i'm gonna use on the flight and in this one i'll put these kind of sanitizers just to clean the tray on the flight you can't be sure it's really clean right so i We'll just pack these. Then I'll put this one as well. It has like, I think, 1,000 rupees or something in cash in case my credit cards won't work. And talk about credit cards. Um, I just ordered two new Visa cards because it's always better to have more cards with you when you travel. You never know if um, they are getting stolen or you lose them or whatever. You know, I've had it once that I went to, I think it was Dubai Airport <laughs> and... Um, the ATM machine just ate my card and I didn't get any cash either so I was completely stuck in the wrong terminal without any credit cards. So now I have gotten a Visa card in gold and one in pink. So pretty and yeah just to make sure that nothing can go wrong. Then I have my face masks and I have just like mouth freshener. Then in this one, which you know, like all liquids have to be in a bag like this. So I already purchased um, these bags. I had actually gotten a full pack of these. You know, like if they break, then it's okay. You can throw them. So I have one hand sanitizer. Then I have some spare contact lenses. And they're so cute. Just look at these contact lenses. How cute are they? I always take my contact lenses out when I fly because my eyes get so dry and in case I want to sleep. So I use my glasses. I don't know where I put them right now, but um, then I put my glasses on if I want to watch TV on the plane. And then whenever I land, just for the comfort, I just put a pair of lenses. These are really, really good. I just changed my lenses just because of the packaging because they're so flat. And when you open them, the contact lens is actually you know which way they turn so you just open it from this side and then you take them out like this and you know you can put them directly in your eye like that and uh, you know on the plane the air gets so dry sometimes and uh, then your skin just dries out like anything i hate that and my skin is quite oily so i used to just dry out my skin and make sure it doesn't get oily on the trip because i just hate that but then my skin would be oily and dry on the flight because of the ac and then when I land, I get pimples everywhere. It's just not really good. So I'll use this face all this time. And then when I land, my skin will hopefully be nice and soft. And then I have this teeny tiny 
super cute deodorant then i have my favorite face cream so there's that and then i have just tissues because you never know if you're not sneezing or if whatever you you know always good to have tissue paper with you and this is like my uh, medicine bag i have my medicine for migraine and um, normal headache and what else do i have in there all sorts of medicine that i had to take on a daily basis my hormones and everything so and vitamins <laughs> and yeah i think um, then i'm going to put my laptop in here and that's it so i have plenty of space in case i need to put some clothes and also on the way back from india I can actually put stuff in here. I can put 8 kgs in total. So yeah, I think um, that's it.